Hi guys, it's Aaliyah. Welcome back to my channel. So, um, at first I actually wasn't going to do a video. Uh, I just started a new project as you can see, but then I was kind of, um, thinking about something. So I decided to turn the camera on. So before I get into that, I just wanted to show you what, um, project I'm doing right now or currently working on. There is this little digital kit from Elsie Bell's bookshelf called Among the Wildflowers. And it is such like a very um, kind of spring slash summer slash, oh my gosh, I can't wait for all the flowers to come out type kit. Um, and there are two, let me just show you, two background pages. So there, And I'm sorry about the darkness, the lightness. It, it is during the day and I don't normally film during the day because it's so bright right there that it makes everything here look very, um, very dark. But let me see if I can turn on another light over here. I don't know if this is going to help, but let's just try. Um, I don't know if that helps. So let's see. Anyways, so there's two of these background pages. There's this one and then there's this one. Okay. And then there are, I don't know how I have this. That's okay. See, aren't these like, I just want to run through a field filled with these flowers. They're so beautiful. And they're on two of the pages. There are, um, quotes. You belong. Oh, can you see that? You belong among the wildflowers. And this is actually, I think the cover, I'm going to use this image as the cover. And then this one here. It says, your mind is the garden, your thoughts are the seeds. The harvest can either be flowers or weeds. So that's super cool. So um, these are all the different pages that it comes with. I'll put it back into order after. And then it also comes with a sheet of ephemera. So there's four tags. There's this cutout, a bingo card, and this kind of little journaling card, and then a little sprig of wildflowers, basically. And you can use this as like a little tuck, or you can use this as just to decorate a page. So of course I printed out a few. And then I started cutting this one, as you can see. Um, you know, I had my paper trimmer out here, and I cut off this edge, I cut off this edge, and then I started to cut here. So my question, the reason why I wanted to do this video was when you're cutting out ephemera pieces, just, let's just take for example, this type of thing. Um, do you use your scissors or do you use your paper trimmer? Because I kind of feel like, I don't know, some days I really just feel like cutting everything with my scissors. Some days I want kind of a shortcut and just wanna, you know, cut, 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 and then I'll use my scissors to cut off the little corners. So I didn't know if anybody else was like me and uses both, um, or if there's people that just particularly like to use their paper trimmer um, when they can, or people that just wanna use their um, scissors. Now, of course, something like this, obviously you cannot use a paper trimmer um, to cut it out, so this I would definitely use my scissors for. But for things like, you know, any kind of straight edge ephemera, it, I was just curious of what everybody else does. Do you always just use scissors? Do you use your paper trimmer? You know, because I don't know. I just don't know if it's my mind that keeps going back and forth and back and forth depending on my mood because also and believe it or not and this is going to sound really strange but depending on the mood that I am in will depend on how I actually cut out my ephemera how I actually cut down um, my pages and stuff because sometimes I don't know why and this is really strange but sometimes I really just want to use scissors to cut I don't know if that happens to anybody else. I mean, regardless what it is. I mean, there's been times when I'm working on a project where obviously this is not an eight and a half by 11 page. So there's little borders around each of the sides. Sometimes I use my paper trimmer to cut it down, but sometimes I need to use scissors to cut them, cut them down. Um, and it's the strangest thing because you would think, oh, well, you're cutting down pages. They're all straight lines. 
just use your paper trimmer. But there have been times, quite a few times, where I don't know if it's the sound of when I cut the scissors or what it is, but I just, I want to use scissors sometimes. I don't know. Maybe that sounds a little crazy. And maybe people do something completely different from me, but it would be really interesting um, to kind of hear what everybody else does. Because I think that as much as you have your own routine or, you know, your own way of doing things, well, for me, for myself personally, I do have a certain way of doing things, but I love hearing other ways that people craft because sometimes I'll look at that and say, well, why am I not doing it that way? Or, you know what, that's such a good idea. Um, I especially like little tips and um, tricks videos. Um, like I know Danny, she just recently did one with um, how she dyes her white lace. And I love videos like that because I could be completely set and doing something a certain way, always do it that way. You know what I mean? Um, you get into your little routine of doing it a certain way. But sometimes I'll watch a video like Danny's and say, you know what? I actually like that way better. Or you know what? I think I want to try that way because it seems um, so much simpler than what I'm currently doing now. So that's one of my, definitely one of my favorite types of videos to watch all those little tips and tricks, um, what people do, you know, things like that. So if anybody has any suggestion, not suggestions, cause I, not that I'm wanting to know different ways, but I'm just curious to see how other people cut out their ephemera you know, like this or cut down their pages. Is it scissors or is it a paper trimmer? So I don't know. Let's have fun. Leave your comments below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to get back to my project and I'm sure I'll be back soon. Talk to you later. Bye.